Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Luke W coming back at you with some awesome sales strategy tips for you guys and your Amazon FBA products. Let's start out the day with just kind of showing you where my sales are at. It's kind of early in the morning still. We only have one sale, but you can see just this month I've racked in so much of a higher percentage than I have been with my other lower priced items. The secret to making a lot of money with Amazon from what I've found is starting to sell higher priced products. So I'm selling a product for around $99 right now. And instead of doing a giant giveaway, like a lot of people are doing with viral launch, one of the big things that's been actually being talked about on YouTube is that these Amazon giveaways do not work anymore. And the reason behind that is because some people are saying you're not able to get verified reviews or sales traffic when you're giving away a product for over 99% with that coupon code that you're using for a giveaway. So bear with me guys, I'm gonna share with you how I'm getting my sales going and my products literally $44 and that's what I paid for each unit. So I'm not trying to do a giveaway and lose hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars doing a giveaway. For instance, Viral Launch charges $400 just to get in their platform to engage in a giveaway. Then you have all the costs of your products on top of that. So what I'm doing is actually using a PPC strategy so my product price is a little lower than everyone else, but I lowered the price and I'm upping the bid on my PPC campaigns and it's really proving to benefit really well. I made sure I optimized my listing first. I have great images, bullet points, descriptions. I'm already ranking pretty well for certain keywords. And then I went ahead and actually added a $20 off coupon for my product, so that really stands out. Who's doing $20 off of their product? No one else. So I'm kind of competing for price in the beginning up, up until I can get to the first page and stuff like that so I can start upping my price. But I'm on page two for like seven different keywords and I'll pull up my PPC campaign and show you what it's looking like. I just did an automatic campaign and after I actually pulled the report, I saw there was one keyword that had nothing to do with my product that I actually spent $20 on. So I went into the negative keywords in my campaign and just put that negative keyword so I'm not showing up for that anymore. I won't be pointlessly wasting $20 on a keyword that is not really related to my product. So that's the benefit of pulling those ad reports. So yeah, this is really working out. I'm really happy I've done this. And I had a question from a subscriber. He was asking me, Luke, how do I get my suppliers to put my logo on my product? Because they're telling me that I can only do that if I order 500 units. And the trick with that is just say, just you can do 100 units for me, put my logo on this, and I promise I'll come back really soon with the next order. I can really beat out the competitors on Amazon. I know this, so I will be coming back to buy more. So it doesn't matter if you make this logo for the first 100, because I'll come back, and you're gonna be making it for the other 300, 400, 500 units I'll buy from you in the future. So that's one way you can negotiate with your suppliers to get your logo on your product for a minimum order quantity. I always recommend you guys start with 100 to 200 units maybe to feel out the product before investing thousands of dollars into it. But once you start getting that going, guys, then you're gonna start, you can always throw money on it and get a shipment in literally with DHL air shipping in about three days. Keep in mind it might take a couple of weeks for you to get your products manufactured, but once they're in Amazon, then they're gonna have a nice resupplied shipment and it's better to be safe than sorry and not buy 500 units that are gonna sit on the Amazon shelves forever. So I'm gonna move into a little bit more of some sales strategy guys. I've been making my Facebook page, I've been making my Instagram stand out, and I've even made YouTube videos and reached out to influencers who are in my niche on YouTube to see if they wanna do a product review on my product and share it with their following who's more than happy to buy it. So I recommend you guys looking into that stuff because there's two phases to getting sales with your Amazon product. The first phase is optimizing everything on amazon.com or amazon.ca, wherever you're working from. You need to optimize inside of Amazon before you go start driving outside traffic to that listing. But after everything is going good on Amazon, you got your reviews built up and everything like that, then I recommend you guys go start a Facebook page for your product, all these other things. I got a video to show you how to get like 3,000 likes on your Facebook page from countries with a lower GDP. You won't even spend that much money. I spent 45 bucks or something on this and I got 3,000 likes and now I've retargeted towards the United States market so I'm getting likes a lot faster there because there's already social approval on my page that's got 3,000 likes. Now I'm getting US people to like it 
and I'm gonna actually do a product insert in my next order from my suppliers with my product and it's gonna have a little card in there and say, go ahead and find my Facebook page and receive a 20% off coupon on your next order on one of our products. So I'll have people going to my Facebook page where I can attract my own customers from Amazon and not let Amazon keep them as their own customers because as I'm growing my business, I wanna grow this niche and my whole audience and be able to actually sell people multiple different products from all angles to my customers that are already interested in this niche. So that's the power of building a brand. A lot of people don't talk about building brands. They just talk about these one-off products that are trending and they made a hundred grand on a fidget spinner, but now that fad is gone and they can't make no more money. So I highly recommend you guys look into thinking about building a brand. One of the biggest product research criteria I can give you guys when you're looking for your first product is see if you can actually build a brand around that product. See if there's other frequently bought together items that you can pair with this item in the future so you can actually have a brand with four or five products that you can start selling to customers. Because once they buy one of your products, then your brand will start getting recognition. And then if you have your other brand name on this new product, then they'll say, oh, this is we bought their product before and we liked it. They have a new product, let's try it. Especially when you get them over your Facebook page and stuff like that. It's amazing and you guys are gonna love it. So I just wanted to bring a real quick video to you guys and please guys do check the links in the description. It really helps support my channel with over 180 videos that I've made for, for you guys in the past year when I started on May 21st. Please check the links. I have Jungle Scout down there. You can purchase that. It's a one-time fee of $97 and it lets you look at all of the different statistics for products that you need and is crucial to see what the products are selling at, what the competition is and the demand is in that marketplace. So there's Jungle Scout and I've actually made an Amazon course where I'm actually giving people full on mentorship when they get the course. So it's got 65 videos, six hours of Amazon content. I've been talking to people, there's one dude in middle school and another guy that's 76 years old. So people from all age ranges are getting into this and it doesn't matter what age you are guys. If you're fresh out of college and you're kind of thinking, should I jump into a nine to five or should I take a stab at entrepreneurship? I would say take the stab at entrepreneurship because that's what I did and I feel like I would have totally regretted my whole life if I just signed up for signing 40 years away in my life. So I recommend you guys do this. It's never too late. We got the 76 year old homie in here doing the same thing and trying to learn it. And he said already, I just read an email. He said, this is actually something that's not like multi-level marketing that I've been introduced to. Like he was introduced to Amway, this multi-level marketing company where you got to get other people to sign up and it's really messy. This is a real business. You can work from anywhere in the world and I wouldn't be doing it myself if I didn't think it was the coolest, best thing out there, the best opportunity. You can get your own physical products that you've tested and you can see through Jungle Scout that they're selling and there's high demand for that product across that main keyword for the product. So if you type in cell phone, Jungle Scout will show you there's a thousand sales for each seller probably on the first page for that keyword. It also gives you that review data to see how competitive that product category is. So when you see 5,000 reviews for everyone on the first page under the cell phone category, you know that that's way competitive to get into, but I have all this information and a ton more in my course itself, and it's only gonna be discounted 25% off. It's like $297, very cheap very cheap investment for you guys. You can look at a college textbook that cost about the same price. Why don't you guys strap up, hit up a mentor like me, and I'll literally be on the phone with you guys Skyping or whatever you need to walk you through this business after you finish my course. It's, it's the best opportunity out there, and for the few that are watching this channel, I'm happy that you guys are because some of the other channels that offer courses, they have 100,000 followers and subscribers and do you think they're able to pay as much attention as I'll be able to pay with you guys because I have a smaller channel and they have a bigger one. So when they have 3,000 students, they can't give everyone that really in-depth help that I can probably provide to you guys. So that's kind of my spiel on the course. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out for this video, but if you guys liked it, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you wanna hear more about Amazon FBA, making your online business come true. It's literally one of the best opportunities because how many businesses can you say can you start for under like $3,000, including a course, the training, the tools, the resources, the products, everything for under three grand to start your business and then reinvest the profits that you make on that to then scale up a giant business, brand, company, whatever you want. And then, I mean, the world is yours, guys. So 
that's my little motivation tip for you guys and hop on those sales. If you're looking to do a launch for your product, don't go spend 400 bucks on a viral launch giveaway. I see the dude, he's all over like everyone's YouTube channel that's talking about Amazon FBA and he's, his name's Casey, he's a great guy, he's got a great product, but you know, he's giving something to people that's benefiting him, like $400 just to sign up to the launch. And then, I mean, you're not even getting verified reviews when you're giving away your products. So there's so many more better ways to go about this and I have it all in my course, guys. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.